learn lesson equations. Now look at the part x plus 3, 2y plus 5. Then what is this? Yes, x plus 3 is algebraic expression. 2y plus 5 also algebraic expression. Then x plus 3 equal 5. What happened? This one become an equation. If 2y plus 5 equals 10, what happened? This one also become an equation. Then x plus 3 equal 5 is, a, is an equation. 2y plus 5 equal 10 also an equation. x plus 3 is algebraic expression as well as 2y plus 5 also algebraic expression. Here we can see equal mark. Here also we can see equal mark. But in here we cannot see equal mark. Then x plus 3 and 2y plus 5 is algebraic expressions. x plus 3 equal 5 is an equation. 2y plus 5 equal 10 also equation. As well as these two equations we call simple equations. Why we call simple equations? Here we can see x to the power of 1. Here also we can see y to the power of 1. But here x to the power of 2 plus 2x equals 0. Here we can see x to the power of 2. Here we can see x to the power of 1. Here we can see x to the power of 2. No? Then this is we call not the simple equation. That is quadratic equation. Not need. Then shall we move to our lesson. Simple equations. Then here we can see x. x is we call unknown term. Here we can see y. Why we call unknown term? As well as here we can see two terms in here. X is one term, 3 is another term, 5 is another term in other side. Here also we can see three terms. 2y plus 5 and 10. Look at here, 3x plus 5 minus 2y. Here we can see one term. Here we can see another term. Here we can see another term. Then here we can see three terms. I think you can identify terms. Then shall we move to our... Next step. What is our next step? Now we are going to construct equations. Constructing. Now we are going to do constructing equations. Look at here. This is a box. If it is a toffee box, then we can see Another two toffees. Another two toffees. Then, some of these uh, one equal 50. Then what happened? This box of toffees we can take as y. Here we can see two toffees that is 2. Equal to 50. 
Then we have a simple equation. Y plus 2 equal 15. That is equation. Shall we move to another equation? Here. Here we can see mangoes. Here we can see three mangoes equals two fifteen. Now what happened? Here we want to take as a algebraic term. Why? This is an unknown value. Then shall we take as six? Here we can see 3. Here we can see 15 equal to 15. X plus 3 equal 15. That is a simple equation. I think now you can construct some simple equations. Now uh, you can do exercise 17.1 in your textbook. Then you have to do exercise 17.1. Now shall we move to our next subtopic. What is our next subtopic? Solving equations. Then we can take equation. X plus 2 equal 5. This is a simple equation. Here we can see x here plus 2 equal 5. Then we want to remove this plus 2. How we remove this one? Look at here. What happened? Yes. What happened in here? We can we can tell cancel out in 2. Then 5 minus 2. And answer is 3. Here we can see x. x equal 3. Look at here. x minus 1 equals 3. Then here we can see minus 1. We want to remove that term. Then how we remove that term? When we add 1 to both sides, then we can remove that minus 1. x minus 1 plus 1 equal 3, then plus 1. Here we can see cancel out 1. Here we can see 3 plus 1. The answer is 4. Here x, x equal 4. That is our Answer that one we call solution of this equation. Solution of this equation is 3. X equal 3. But here X equal 4. That is the solution. Shall we move to another example? Look at here. 2Y plus 1 equals so, here we can see the three terms. 2y is one term. Plus 1 is another term. 7 is another term. Then, first we want to remove this plus 1. How we remove? We can take minus 1. Plus 1, minus 1, 7, minus 2. Here we can see 1 is cancel out. Then 2y equal 6. 2y equal 6. 2 times of y equal 6. Next, we want to do divide by 2. What happened? 2 is going. Then y equal 3. 
y equal 3 is our answer. Shall we move to another example? 3x minus 2 equal 7. Here also we can 3. We can see 3 terms. 3x is one term. Here we can see another term. Here we can see another term. We can see 3 terms. Here we can see subtract 2. How we remove that one? We can add 2 to the both side. 3x subtract 2 add 2 7 add 2. When we add it 2 to the both sides then 2 is Going, cancel out. 3 is remaining. 7 and 2. Then 9. Here we can see 3 times of x. Then inverse operation of multiplication. That is division. Then we want to divide both sides by 3. Why? We can see 3 multiplied by x. Then we want to take division. Then divide by 3. Here 3 is going. Then x is equal 9 divide by 3. Then answer is 3. Then x equal 3. That is solution. I think now you can solve Simple equations. Then you have to do exercise 17.2. Now shall we move to our next subtopic. Um, solving simple equations further. Okay, look at here. 2 times x plus 1 equal 10. Here we can see 2 times of x plus 1 equal 10. What we want to do? We want to take inverse of multiplication. What is the inverse operation of multiplication? That is division. Then both sides divide by 2. 10 divide by 2. Here we can see 2 is going. Then x plus 1 is remaining. Here 10 divide by 2 then answer is 5. Then we want to remove plus 1. How we remove that one? Then we can remove like this now. Plus 1 minus 1 equal 5 minus 1. Here 1 is going out. Then x equal Four. x equal 4 is solution of this equation. Shall we take another example? Look at here. 3 times y minus 2 equals 15. Then here we can see 3 times of y minus 2 equal 15. What we want to do? We want to take division. We want to divide both sides by 3. Then what happened? y minus 2 is remaining. Why? 3 going. Then 15 divide by 3. Then answer is 5. Next. We want to do, yes. Next we want to do add 2 to both sides. Then 2 is cancel out. Y is remaining. 5 add 2. Then answer is 7. Y equals 7. That is solution. Solution of our equation. Shall we take another equation? 
here y divide by 2 uh, and 1 equals 3. How we solve this one? Here we can see, yes, yes, how many terms? 3 terms. First we want to remove this term. How we remove? Yes. How we remove this? Plus 1. We can take minus 1. And add to both sides. Then what happened? Plus 1 is going. Then y divided by 2 equals yes, yes, 2. Then here we can see y divided by 2. Then we want to remove this 2. How we remove? We want to take inverse operation of division. What is inverse operation of division? That is multiplication. Then we want to take multiplication. Multiplied by 2. Both sides we want to multiply by 2. Why? We want to remove this 2. Then what happened? 2 is cancel out. Y is remaining 2 into 2, 4. Y equal 4 is the solution of this equation. Shall we move to another example? Look at here. X plus 1 divide by 2 equal 3. Then how we solve this one? Here we can see 2. Then we want to remove it. How we remove? We can take inverse operation of division. What is the inverse operation of division? That is multiplication. Then we want to multiply by 2 to both sides. Then what happened? 2 is cancel out. Then x plus 1 equal 6. Next we want to remove this 1. How we remove? When we take in minus 1. What happened? 1 is Cancel. Then x equal 5. x equal 5 is solution of this equation. Now I think you can solve equations. Then you have to do your exercise 17.3. Thank you.